Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we get to talk about this lovely lady right here, good old Athena, who looks very, very lovely, guys. I'm really happy that they still captured the charm of the character, as well as enhancing her beauty, if you will. Uh, she looks absolutely amazing. I love the smile that she has on her face. Of course, the little wave wink that she does. Very, very cool. Very, very awesome. But I tell you what, man, something that I thought they would probably do with this character that they didn't do is make her a support character. Now, she can still be used as well because she's still got some of those things in her kit that can be used as an extra support character. But the truth is, Athena is extremely strong the way she is. Like, her kit is built to destroy. She is a green attack type fighter that gives the, you know, wonderful leadership that applies to all green fighters, just like Benny Morrow with purple characters. She does, you know, she applies this leadership for all the green fighters in the game, no matter, you know, no matter if they're defense or balance or whatever the case may be, she's going to buff them up which is awesome. And when you look at her core effects, guys, I mean, she's got, you know, 700% increased attack. And, you know, like I said in the last video, these things get a little redundant reading over and over. But when you look at her core, Athena on the stage, gains super armor for three seconds and recovers HP by 5% on a 10 second cooldown. This is actually pretty damn insane because one, getting that super armor, she doesn't get interrupted. This is actually pretty awesome for PvP uh, and really great for, say, the plug-in plants or tower evolutions because you're not going to get interrupted. If you got super armor up, you're not going to get interrupted. That is actually OP on top of getting a heal. So that's actually really, really good when defeating an enemy. So obviously in game modes like Guild Raid, you're not going to be able to get this effect because you're not going to defeat the enemy, actually, right? But she also has the Starlight Damage, which is awesome, right? And then... Uh, I'll keep doing my best to thank my fans. She gains an encore stack up to 10 stacks and decreases active 3 skill cooldown by 0.4 seconds. Cooldown 0.1 second upon every successful 2 skill attack. Now, what this indicates to you right now is that you really want to be using both these skills. As you'll see later with her uh, Phantom UE skills, she actually decreases the cooldown of her third skill. But you'll notice that the cooldown decrease amount or percentage amount isn't as high as, say, other characters. And you actually have time to get that second skill in and actually reduce the cooldown of the third skill as you're hitting the second skill. It's actually pretty damn OP. She consumes an Encore stack upon every successful Active 3 skill attack to increase Active 3 skill damage by 200% for 2 seconds and decrease Active 2 skill cooldown by 0.8 seconds. So, really, really Really nice cooldown reduction core that she has. She also is immune to stun, fear, shock, and starlight. She decreases damage received by 80% when HP is 65% or below, not 80% like Benny Morrow, but she does have the damage immunity core. But you have to remember that she is she does have a heal in her kit, which is awesome. And then of course the increased active skill damage and increased basic attack damage, guys. So she's gonna have a lot of damage to her basic attacks, a lot more power than say other characters whenever she's doing her basic attacks. And when you look at her Phantom UE skill, this thing actually gives you 10 on Cortez stacks right upon use. And then decrease active skill cooldown by 70% for 10 seconds upon use. And this is what I mean, guys. A lot of characters, like with Concentrate or whatever, they'll decrease the skill cooldown of something by 100% or 90%, right? This is 70%. It gives you, the way her core is set up, you really want to use her second skill along with her third skill to decrease the cooldowns even more so you can actually run three skills at a faster rate of time, applying more damage over time, right? And so it's really cool how she's set up and honestly really easy to play once you get her all figured out. Her one skill does give her hyper armor for five seconds and the decrease enemy defense by 8%, increase damage to by 100%. Anytime you see this, this is always something that can be used as a support character. As I said earlier, but you'll find that she really is just a damage-dealing monster. Her second skill is actually really cool because it does pull enemies towards the center of the skill upon use. Whenever you use this thing, you actually pull your enemies around you, toward you, which is pretty awesome. It increases active skill tool damage by 1,000%, up to 5,000%, and momentum up to 30%, which is a bunch of extra damage. Uh, each for each enemy landed by the skill for four seconds. Restarts enhanced effect when the skill is used and removes the target's guard upon landing a skill. And removing that guard can be pretty damn OP for PvP, right? Or really helpful in PvP. And then her third skill is really where the money's at with regarding this character. After the first projectile disappears, a chain projectile is created that can chain targets on the map and can be generated up to four additional times. Target cannot duplicate, something that's going to be really advantageous in something like the plug-in plant. And then Chain Projectile applies 100% damage of skill coefficient to the target and applies 5% damage to non-targeted nearby targets. And again, whenever you have multiple mobs of enemies, this is going to be a lot of extra damage towards those enemies and mobs. Very, very handy, man. You know, they, they really are catering these characters to them plug-in plants to be good in those plug-in plants because that's where we can farm 
well plug in to make our characters a whole lot stronger. So it makes sense why they're, you know, really catering these characters to it. Uh, and then you go to the default, just resets active skill cooldowns. It's also an interrupt skill during standing airborne knockdown. So when you're standing on your feet, you're up in the air, or whenever you're knocked down on the ground, she can get up and use this skill. So anytime you're in danger, you can use this default anytime you want. And then she increases blast skill damage from her uh, 3PG. And when you look at her cards, I'm going to use the set that I used for the last Benny Mar video, the same option cards. I don't have any of the other option cards. If I did, I would just use one of those instead. And then, of course, the 3PG that gives a blast skill. Now, when it comes to her core, obviously, attack and penetration as always, guys. But you really want to max out her third and second skill. Max these two out if you're taking her to A5. And then the first skill lasts or A3, right? And then, of course, you want to open all the leaves up. And then, of course, with the Phantom UE, she increases Blast Skill damage, which is, again, an indication that she's pretty much going to be a solid damage dealer. It's just really the thing with the character, guys. So let me show you a little something about her that's, you know, really cool. So when you go into, like, a, say, Championship, we can actually take a look at her skills a little bit and kind of put some judgment across them because you'll actually notice that she actually has a lot of range uh, in her skill. So if we come all the way to the other side here, whenever we do the first skill, watch this. Now, she runs over there, right? You know, a good PvP player would see that coming, but still, that's pretty sweet. Now, here's what's really cool. You hit the second skill, and no matter where they're at on the screen, whenever you hit this thing, you're going to suck them right up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the follow. Isn't that cool? That is so wild. Oh, I love it so much, right? All right, let me go ahead and push this guy a little bit further over here. Let me come back over here, and we'll hit the third skill. And the third skill also has a lot of range, right? Now, the one thing about the third skill uh, and the first skill it, with that range is they aren't as fast as what we'd really like to see, but still really, really cool, right? Her 3PG is amazing. I love this thing. I think it looks awesome. Nice, nice, nice. But whenever you're playing this character, literally all you have to do is hit the one, two, and the three, and then you know either do their default or do their three PG. I oh her default's awesome, right? And then afterwards, you know she's just at A one, like what I'm gonna be playing her today. I can literally use her Phantom UE skill as much as I want. Uh, if you're at A five, then obviously you want to build up these Phantom State bars down here all the way up, and then hit your Phantom UE skill after your Awaken skill. So that way you can use all those Phantom State Bars to get the most amount of Blast Skill damage. But literally, it looks something like this. Where you're just going like this. Hit the Phantom UE skill. And then just go 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. And if you notice, look at how fast she builds up her Phantom State Bar. Just like in the past with uh, uh, Kami and Ken. Like how they can build it up so fast. Jury. Athena is the same way, just like Benny Marl, which is awesome, guys. Like, they can build up their UE skills very, very fast, right? So when I hit the UE skill, right, or hit the Awaken skill, and then hit the Phantom UE skill, watch this. All right, look at how fast she's building that thing up. Look at that. Look And look at how she keeps replenishing her charge. See that? How she kept replenishing her charge. Right? And we were easily able to get up those three Phantom State bars. That means that for each one of these bars, she's gaining more Blast Skill damage, which is OP as hell, guys. A lot of extra damage. Really, really sweet. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with a run that I did in Guild Raid on the live stream earlier today. Because I don't think I really need to put any commentary about or anything like that, guys. We know the drift of Athena, man. She's a pretty awesome character. Her 3PG looks amazing. And... She is an insane damage dealer. And as far as whether or not, you know, you should pull for this character, I mean, it really would depend if you need a green UE character. I mean, if you already have certain other green UE characters, then you probably wouldn't need her at all. She is just going to be a main damage... She is just going to be a damage dealer. But if you are looking to get another UE character that's awesome, that is a green, then I think she's an excellent choice. And like I say with all these videos, guys, you know, you really should be trying to get her at least to a minimum of A3. So that way you can use her in the plug and plants and take full advantage of this kit that netmarble has gave her but boy she really is an amazing character guys let me know what you think about her and i do stream on twitch and youtube the link to twitch is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care let's see what old girl can do let's see what a
One, two, three. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two, three, two, three, two, three. Go up on us. You gotta love the three PG that they queued up for Athena. <laughs> Killer skills. Go ahead and do the 3PG because we want Rugal to blow up on us afterwards. Nice, now he's going to blow up on us. I think he's doing pretty awesome, guys. She's doing pretty damn sick. You always got to hit that hyper armor every once in a while. To make sure that we don't get interrupted. But uh, she's doing insane, guys. She's already done 200 billion. I mean, she only ate one. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and land a couple skills on all the Rugers. You like the bikini 3 PG the best? <laughs> I get it, I get it. do that. I was kind of hoping to go in the 3PG before he blew up on us, but it's all good. It won't make that big of a difference. At least now we know he won't blow up on us for a little bit. Right? Damn, guys. She's getting 300 billion. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at that! 312... 313 billion! Holy crap! Damn! A1! 313 billion! And, uh... I mean, yeah! The same striker as what I had for Benny Morrow. One imprint zone, obviously A1, and then... <laughs> that is insane! Holy crap, man! Woo, she is freaking... She's pretty damn OP. Wow.